There's a very important part about training your core that a lot of people miss, so stay tuned. Coach Zach here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to train your inner core. Specifically, a very important muscle that is often neglected called your transverse abdominis. From here on out, I'm gonna to refer to it as your TVA. Now your TVA is your muscle that protects your spine during any kind of movement. It basically hugs your spine. It's your inner corset, your inner belt. And a weak TVA can cause back pain, can cause back and spinal injuries, right? Also, uh, bloating of your stomach. Now, oftentimes, most of the time, that's caused by nutrition, the way that you're eating, inflammation in your gut, but a lot of times it can be caused by a weak TVA, right? The distended belly. You might have a belly that sticks out with six packs on top of it. And that could be caused from a weak transverse abdominus, a weak TVA. So this is extremely important in looking better, but more importantly, in keeping your spine healthy, right? We all do crunches, we all do some twists and rotations, but this is the foundation of your core, really the foundation of your body. So, if you've ever seen bodybuilders go on stage and flex, one of the big moves is the vacuum pose, where they really stand up nice and tall and they hug their belly, their belly button in towards their spine. So, it's a great way to train your transverse abdominus. Ideally, you would do this on an empty stomach. First, we're gonna do it standing, easiest version. So what you're gonna do, full exhale. Let all the air out of your lungs. From here, stand up nice and tall, and I want you to try to hug your belly button towards your spine. So. Hold that for maybe 10 seconds. It may feel weird, it might, you not, might not even be able to do it at first, but that's the intention. Full breath out, and then make this as hollow as possible, hug your belly button towards your spine. So. so that's your transverse abdominus. That's your inner belt, your inner corset. You can do maybe three sets of 10 second holds to start. Do that every day on an empty stomach and you'll definitely start to notice a difference, not only in the way that you look, but also the way that you, your back feels. If you have back pain, this is important. Once you get that down, we can add some resistance to it in the form of your organs. But hey, before we get into that, if you really want some more information on how to train your core using very simple equipment, Make sure you check out that link down below for more information, more education on how to train your core using sliders. Get your free pair along with my slide your way to a flat stomach. So, we're gonna come down into tabletop, all fours, right? Thinking of cat cow, if you're into yoga. So from here, we're gonna do the same thing. Now this is a little bit harder. Why is it harder? Because now gravity is pushing your internal organs towards the ground, so you have some resistance, right? So do this standing to start, and once you get good with it, you can come down on all fours. Same concept. Full breath out, hug your belly button towards your spine. Shoot for three sets, 10 second holds, and that should be good. If you do that every day, you'll definitely start to notice a difference. Now, final exercise I'm gonna show you. It has many different names. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it kettlebell on the belly. So, grab a light kettlebell. I've been doing this a while, so I got a little bit heavier. Now, you don't need to use a towel. I'm putting the towel because I'm shirtless right now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the kettlebell on your belly. Make sure you don't put it on the xiphoid process, which is a little divot, a little bony part at the bottom of your ribs. Make sure it's on your belly. So, you're gonna put the kettlebell right on the belly. Full exhale out, let the, bell, the kettlebell sink down. And then from here, you're gonna take a breath in. I want you to try to get the kettlebell up to the ceiling as best you can. So get the kettlebell and then 
hold, five seconds, and then let it sink back down. If you have high blood pressure, glaucoma, any of those issues, then ask your doctor before doing this. I have to say that. Again, let the kettlebell sink down. Better to do this on an empty stomach. And then breath in. Kettlebell up to the ceiling and then hold. Try not to create too much pressure in the head and the face. We're not doing the Valsalva maneuver here. And then let it sink down. Hold. As you can see, I'm getting the kettlebell up and then nice and slow with control down. Up. Hold. And down. Boom. Try those three exercises out. Starting with the standing vacuums, going on to the kneeling, the four point vacuums with the organs as your resistance. And then you can try out this kettlebell. Just be careful. Again, high blood pressure, glaucoma, don't do it. Make sure you check out that link down below. Learn how you can fully develop your abs, your rectus abdominis, your six pack, your obliques using only sliders. As always, I'm Coach Zach, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.